what is flowchart, how to make a flowchart of any program and how to make a flowchart of any program of any programming language, whether you are using QB6, C programming, C++, Java, Python or any other thing. Before you write a code, you need to make a flowchart so you can understand program very easily. So in this video, I will be explaining you step by step process to make the flowchart of any program. The software I'm using here is Flogorithm. You can download it. This is the website flogorithm.org for Windows operating system 32 bit, 64 bit. You can download this very easily. I have already made the video on that how to download, how to use. You can watch that video also. Okay. In this specific video, I am going to help you to make a flowchart to check whether a given number is negative, positive, or zero. So let's get started. Now you can see it is already created, but I will take a new file control and file. So main and end, these are the symbol which we are going to use in the flowchart. To start the flowchart, to end the flowchart, this is the symbol. You have to click here and you can see this. For input, the symbol for output also, input and output, same symbol. For declaration of variable, we use this symbol. For assignment or processing calculation, we can use this symbol. We don't need this call for now. If you are using modular programming concept you can use this call to call the sub procedure function procedure to check the condition we use this diamond type symbol for looping we use this okay so first of all to check given number is negative positive or zero so we need one number so we will use this input okay so n variable name inter variable name below so i will use this n variable so I'm using this n variable. So before we use the variable, we need to declare that variable. So I will use this declare before that and double click and I will write variable name n type is integer. Integer will store the number. Fine. Without decimal point. First of all, declared variable n and take an input. After taking input, we need to check whether it is positive or not. So I will use this control if I will Take this okay if I will write your condition if condition is true I will display something if condition is false I will display something so first of all I want to check whether number is positive or not so I will double click on this if and I will write here n greater than 0 because n have a number so if that number is greater than 0 this is the condition so this condition can be true or false depending upon the user input so if this condition is true if number is greater than 0 I will double click here once and then I'll go to the output to display the result in the output screen we should use this output okay inside the output what I want to display is positive so okay inside the double quotation you have to write so if number is greater than 0 then it will come here and print number is positive if number is not greater than 0 then it the condition will be false so i will go here and click once and i will check another condition why another condition to check negative or not so inside the if i will write n less than zero so if number is less than zero again we have two options here if condition is true then what it is negative number is less than zero then output inside the output i will write okay this is done if number is not less than 0, then the last option we have is that is 0. So I will click here in the false and output and then I will write number is 0. Good. Done. So this is the flowchart to check whether the given number is negative, positive or 0. First of all, integer and num variable is declared of integer type. Input user will enter the value in this n variable then i am checking whether number is positive or not if number is greater than zero then output display number is positive if number is not positive there are two options so we'll go to the false if this condition is false the control will come here in the false now we have to check two condition move that is negative or not so i'm checking if n less than zero if this number is less than zero it will come here in print number is negative if number is not negative then we have last option in the false that is number is zero 
and I have connected this and connected to the end this arrow also to the end so this is done so let me show you by running this flow chart so go to this arrow step click on this you can see here and and then I will again click here you can see here in the input if I will click again it will ask me to enter the value please enter the value of n so I'll make this little bit small in size because this is our output screen okay fine now I'll enter 6 for now and enter okay I have entered the value of n as 6 so it came in this condition if n greater than 0 I'll click step again yes condition is true and number is greater than 0 it came here and again I will click it will go to the end done now let me show you the output here you can see number is positive so this is how it work okay so let me close this and let me run this again from the starting okay input enter a value let me enter minus 5 so after entering minus 5 I will press enter so it is checking the condition now and greater than 0 I will press this step again no this condition is false so that's why it came here because number is not greater than 0 it is less than 0 so it came here in the false now it is checking whether the number is less than 0 or not yeah it will say yes minus 1 is less than 0 this condition is true so it is printing that output number is negative and it go to the end so let me show you this output screen here now number is negative so if you will enter 0 it will display a number is 0 in this way it works this is the flowchart of negative positive and 0 using this software it is very easy now you can go to the tool and copy image to the clipboard you can just click on it the this flowchart will be copied you can send anywhere you want export image so you can save this file and you can send anywhere then you can see this variable window so you can click on this you can display that the number I have entered is minus 5 it will display you can go to this again and source code source code if you cannot see output screen you can click on this console window it will display the output number is negative and last one source code viewer you can see the code of QBasic you can convert this algorithm into the program also your QBasic program look like this for this negative positive and zero and you can write in different way also you can select the language any programming language C++ now your C++ code for negative positive or zero look like this you can select your multiple 18 or 19 programming language are here you can select any and you can see the code for that you can select this Java it will display the negative positive or zero program for Java so in this way you can do hope it help you and if it is helpful for you please click on the like button and click on the subscribe button and if you have any type of confusion and question if you want me to make a flowchart for any other program just write it down in the comment section see you in the next video have a great day